everybody. Welcome back to Meals with Marsha. Today I want to share a recipe with you called stuffed bell peppers. I'm excited to show you this, so let's get started. The first thing you need is six large bell peppers, and you're just going to cut the tops of those off, and you're going to get the, the membranes and the seeds out, and then you're going to drop these in boiling water that has a little salt in them, and you're going to parboil them for five to six minutes. And I've already done that, and then when I took them out, I just sprayed the bottom of my casserole dish, and I've placed them right here. So I wanted to show you that. I also want to show you the tops of my bell peppers. Uh, I saved a couple of these because I want to tell you that a lot of people like to chop these up fine and put them inside your sauce that you're going to do. I didn't do that today because I didn't want to do that. My family likes bell peppers in the sauce, but they rather just eat it like this. This is probably one of my husband's favorite things because he loves bell peppers, but you can put the tops in with the sauce. But I'm gonna save these for salad or a snack later. So I just wanted to share that with you. So here's my bell peppers. I'm gonna move them over. Let me see if I can get them up close for you so you can see what they look like. They're sliding in my casserole dish. But you don't, you don't wanna crowd them, but you also wanna make sure you have room you know, in there. So this one's a, probably a little, this casserole dish is probably a little bit big for what I'm doing, but it's okay. And then uh, you want a cup of cooked rice. Now I have used the instant rice. This is what I have. And I used three fourths cup of water with salt, brought it to boil, put my rice in there, stirred it and just put the lid on and let it set for five minutes and it's cooked. So this is my favorite friend because it's quick. So I'll use that. So I've got my rice right here. And then you're gonna take a pound of ground beef and brown it with a fourth of a sweet onion and you're gonna saute that together with salt and pepper, drain the grease off, then you're gonna get your favorite spaghetti sauce and you're gonna add it to it. And I use the Great Value Traditional brand, you can use whatever. The original recipe says to use Prego. And Prego's really good, but I have found that Walmart brand is to me just as good. So, once I mixed all that together, I added salt, pepper, garlic powder, a little bit more Italian seasoning, about a tablespoon of sugar, and then a dash of cinnamon. That's how I kind of doctor up my spaghetti sauce. That's what I call it, it's doctoring it up. So now we're gonna mix all this together so we can stuff our peppers. Now, like I said, this is a cup of cooked rice. I'm gonna put that in there and kind of break it up. Ooh, it's still warm. And then I'm gonna add this. I don't know if I'm gonna add all of this. Um, seems like a lot, so I'm gonna see, because I have six large peppers, and I'll save this, I can use this for another dish. If I don't want it all, let me stir it up and see. Yeah, I'm probably gonna need it all. I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna use it all. It just seems like a lot today to me. Now, if you wanted to double this, you could easily. I'm gonna set this back here. Let's stir that together. And I've already put all my seasonings and stuff inside of my uh, spaghetti sauce. Now, if you want to add something else, you know, put your own spin on it, that's fine. All right, this is what that looks like. That's our mixture. And I think I probably can fill more than six bell peppers with that, maybe. So like I said, I'll have a little bit left and that's fine. And then I'm going to do some of the finely shredded Parmesan cheese. I'm gonna do about a fourth of a cup. I'm just gonna measure with my heart here. That looks like about a fourth of a cup. Stir that in. We love cheese around here, guys. We absolutely love it. All right, that's mixed up good. And then I'm gonna add some feta cheese. We are huge feta cheese fans. Feta, I love to eat feta on my salad. And I also think it gives a good bite to anything you put it in. So I'm gonna do about that much, maybe a fourth of a cup. I'm just gonna Crumble that up with my hands. And it's gonna make a mess. So I'll have to see if I can rinse my hands off real quick. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna set that aside. I'm gonna stir that up. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of mozzarella cheese because we're gonna be topping it with some mozzarella. So I'm gonna take about a fourth of a cup of mozzarella to put in here too. Uh, I got me a new cheese grater. I'm so excited I'm gonna be using that, but I'm trying to use up my bag cheese first. So I'm gonna just take that much, about a fourth of a cup and put that on there because we will be topping it with cheese too later. 
this is not that hard. When I first, years ago, when I first started doing this, I thought, ooh, this might be a little complicated. But I thought I'm gonna try it just for my husband's sake because he loves stuffed bell peppers and his grandmother used to make them. He says I can't quite duplicate her recipe and that's okay, I mean, you know, she cooked the way she did, I cooked the way I do and he enjoys my food and I know he enjoyed his grandmother's food. He's very close to his grandparents. All right, now we're gonna fill these guys. We're just gonna pick them up. They're cool enough now, but they're just a little bit pliable. Like I said, I, I boiled them for about six minutes and I want them to be soft, all right? That's looking good already. This is a very pretty dish, I think. When it comes out, it's very pretty. And if you wanna overstuff them, you can. I may be able to do that. All right, here we go. Let's make sure we got enough. I thought I was gonna have too much, but it seems like I may barely have enough. I don't know. Beautiful outside. My husband and I celebrated our birthdays this week. I turned 51 and he turned 50. And uh, Easter's coming. It's one of my favorite times of the year. We uh, get to celebrate the resurrection of Jesus. It's an awesome time. Anytime's a good time to celebrate Jesus in my book. But you know, there, there's holidays that set aside that special time that we get to to do and uh, focus on certain things and I love that. All right, well, I think that's about gonna do it. I think I might just try to fill the, fill the rest of this with the, these other ones that ain't deep and that's gonna get it. Six large is gonna get it. I couldn't remember, I know that's what the recipe said, but I couldn't exactly remember if I used all my filling. It just looked like a lot, but I guess it wasn't as much as I thought. And you, all, you want to try to find a bell pepper, see if it'll stand up on the bottom. Now, if you get some bell peppers and they don't, you can always slice your bell peppers this way in half and work with them like that. Whoop, that one's gonna topple over, I'm afraid. Maybe I can prop it up on, ooh, I don't know. That one's looking puny. We'll see. All right. Let me see if I can put some of that over in this one. That one's gonna be a a better choice okay all right all right guys there it is there's my stuffed bell peppers now i'm going to put these in the oven at 375 for let me look 15 to 20 minutes and then i'm going to take them out and we'll come back and we'll put cheese on them then i'm going to put them back in the oven for like five more minutes and then i'm going to uh taste them with you uh when we get back okay it'll be just a few minutes hey everybody welcome back Okay, I cooked my bell peppers in the oven for 17 minutes. Then I took them out and I put the rest of that shredded mozzarella cheese on there. And I put it back in the oven for five more minutes. Now, I had two of my peppers. They fell over in the casserole dish. That's okay. They just don't look as pretty. But these stayed together and I'm so proud. But I want a taste of this with you. I want to take this smaller one that fell, fell over. So I'm going to go ahead and put it right here. And it's probably not going to stand up. Well, maybe it will. And I'm going to cut into this and we're going to see what it's like. Mm. Now, another easier way, like I said, you could cut your bell peppers in half and lay them down and stuff them. You probably have to cut them in half and keep most of the top part on there. You probably actually get more bell pepper out of it, obviously, that way. But I've always done it this way. <clears throat> now let's see. Mm, that looks delicious. Now it's gonna be hotter than Satan's toenails, so we're gonna have to let that cool just a little. See if I can get that up on my fork. Mm, that bite. There's a lot of flavors going on there, I can tell you, with the cheese and the onions and the spices and then the pepper. Mmm, that is delicious. Oh my gosh, that is so delicious. My husband is going to be super duper happy tonight, guys. Now, I made these and I'm just going to cook some garlic bread with it. You could probably have another vegetable or if you wanted a salad or something to go with it, but this is really a whole meal in itself. And that bell pepper is soft. 
Mm. The only thing I think that would make this better is if you used a yellow or an orange bell pepper. They're much more expensive. So I understand if you're eating on a budget, it's fine because these turn out great, but I love the, the colored bell peppers, the yellow and the orange. This is delicious, guys. This will be a good, healthy meal and give your kids an option to try some vegetables. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, a lot of times when my kids ate this, they would just dig the middle out of it and not eat the pepper, which that's fine. But there's a lot of good nutrients in this. And this is a good meal for your family. I'm going to take one more bite. Mmm. That's great. Such a perfect blend of spices, like I said, and, and flavor and cheese and all that. Guys, if you enjoyed this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Meals with Marcia. And don't forget that everything you're going to need for this recipe, excuse me, recipe, if I can talk, is going to be in the description on how to do it. Thank you once again so much for watching. And don't forget that we serve a risen Savior. And we are celebrating this weekend. We are celebrating the crucifixion and the resurrection of Jesus. He is alive. And I pray that you find him. And I pray that he is alive in your heart today. Thank you once again for watching. God bless. And I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.